together, we started off our adventure almost 10 years ago, an entire decade, a time period that takes us from our mid-teens to mid-twenties, from teenagers to grown adults. We grew up together. Over the last several years, we've only been able to see each other on weekends. It was clear to me that weekends are not enough. Life is short and each day makes it shorter. Time is the most important thing we have when we are limited to just one life and only one life. I couldn't imagine spending my life without you. I love you more than anything and spending this life with you is the easiest decision I have ever made or will ever make. The first 10 years of our adventure has been a blast, but now it's all about the many decades ahead. Brad. I can't believe this day is finally here. I can't help but think how grateful I am to soon call you my husband. I always think back to the day when we were 15 or 16 years old. You were driving me home and we talked about how we wanted to buy a house together and get married. We were so annoyed at how far away those moments were without realizing how fast it would actually come. How lucky are we that we met so young and were able to practically grow up together. After almost 10 years of loving you, I cannot wait to marry you and become your wife. I cannot wait to wake up with you tomorrow and feel that feeling of endless love. I know you will be the best husband and the best father to our future children. You are my best friend, the person who I will lean on when I need it the most, and now my life partner. I am forever grateful to spend the rest of my life with you. With all my love, compassion, and heart, your wife, Heather. You look awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. you ready? Yeah. I don't ever look back. We're here today to celebrate the love that Brad and Heather have for each other and to recognize and witness their decision to journey forward in their lives as husband and wife. The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so special, we acknowledge its status by sharing it with others. Despite all of our differences, love is what we all share. We got plenty of days left under the sun. No, it ain't a one-day ride. It's up through the mountains where the coyotes cry. Down through the canyon where the wild things hide. And the cottonwoods fall. Brad and Heather, may this kind of love always help you keep the promises you're about to make here today. Heather, I promise to stand beside you. Brad, I promise to stand beside you. To dance with you in times of joy. To dance with you in times of joy. To lift you up in times of sadness. To lift you up in times of sadness. To rejoice with you in times of health. To rejoice with you in times of health. To comfort you in times of illness. To comfort you in times of illness. I promise to turn to you. I promise to turn to you. For solace. For solace. For encouragement. For encouragement. And for inspiration. For inspiration. I promise to be faithful and true to you. I promise to be faithful and true to you. I promise to shower you with love and affection. I promise to shower you <laughs> with love and affection. I choose to spend every wonderful day of my life with you. I choose to spend every wonderful day of my life with you. And I promise to wake up every morning and tell you the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life ever. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Just say okay. Okay. <laughs> and I will accept your thousand kisses a day every single day. Yeah. <laughs> Brad and Heather, now that you've shared these words of love and commitment, and we've witnessed the expression of your love as you've given each other these rings, and you've joined your hands and hearts before your family and friends, it is with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. Now you may kiss. You're married, you can kiss again if you want to. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Springer.
start by thanking everyone for coming and celebrating Heather and Brad today for their big day. It feels really special to be your maid of honor and be able to stand beside you and see you marry your, your husband. Over the years, we've become closer and it was such a special day to share with you. We have come a long ways from big fights coming up to you, Heather, swinging a two by four about to hit my head until dad caught us. Be careful, Brad, she fights dirty. I'm sure you know that by now. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I've watched Heather grow into an amazing, beautiful, accomplished woman that I am so proud of. Growing up, you've always wondered who you will marry, and Heather, you've definitely found your person in Brad. You two complement each other so well, I couldn't have asked for a better man for my baby sister to spend her life with. And I feel honored to gain Brad as a brother. I've gone to watch you two grow as a couple from teenagers to adults who have started a life of their own together. It is something special to marry your high school sweetheart. And I wish the two of you many years of happiness and growth together. So let's all raise our glasses and toast this amazing couple. I love you both. We could sail the skies together till our skin is old and weathered by your side. The time that I, I noticed and, and loved how these two absolutely loved each other is when Brad and Heather were in the same room together and I walked in and I absolutely saw Heather's eyes light up. And that was when Brad was uh, holding up a, a beer bong to hear to Heather. And, uh, <laughs> no, but Heather's now a part of the family and she's been a while. And I couldn't pick anyone to match Brad's personality and just uh, Brad's charismatic and, and just uh, comedic personality. So I'm really happy for these two. Uh, so everyone, please raise your glasses. Let's do a cheers to my very lucky brother and beautiful Heather. You know we're meant to be